G'day guys, it's Mark here from Perth Forward Driving Camping. Today I thought I'd take you through some of the steps that I go through after a day on the track uh, to clean my car. And I'll, I'll take you through um, cleaning under your vehicle, uh, the engine bay, your radiator, and also inspecting your air filter. One of the first things you wanna do when you return from the track is give your vehicle an inspection underneath and make sure that you haven't done any damage. My vehicle runs bash plates uh, they provide additional protection whilst uh, being off-road. Um, however, they do have a tendency of capturing some uh, dirt and sand in particular if you've been on beaches. Uh, so today will be an opportunity to remove those and give them a good clean. Um, and I do that about once every three months. As you can see here with the bash plates off, they do uh, collect a fair bit of grit and dirt. So um, be able to give them a, a wash down. When it comes to cleaning under the car and even areas of your engine bay. A product I came across earlier this year, um, it's just this one here. So it's the um, Bowden's Orange Agent. It's uh, a pH neutral uh, product, a non-corrosive. Um, and I found by sort of spraying it um, onto kind of key areas underneath your car and leaving it to sit for a couple of minutes and then washing it off. Um, you know, it's really effective at removing kind of any kind of grit, um, uh, red dust, etc. that I've you know, been picking up on the tracks. So try not to let the uh, product sit and go dry on your, on your vehicle. You want to essentially leave it to sit for a couple of minutes and then uh, rinse it off. For really stubborn dirt, you can also use a cleaning brush uh, like shown here, which will help remove that dirt a little bit more easily. So when, when washing your vehicle um, after your off-road use, um, it's really important that you're not only cleaning the areas that you can see, um, it's, you also want to get inside things like your chassis rail. So um, basically, you know, in these sort of areas here. So you want to basically get your hose pipe in these holes and you want to uh, get the water running through them. Um, you'll see in the exit points there that, uh, you know, if you've been on a beach, quite often you'll see sand coming um, out of those, uh, out of the chassis rails. Um, obviously we've been driving on a lot of red dirt, for example, so yeah, you'll see that coming out. So you basically just want to get your hose um, on sort of a, a fine sort of a stream setting like that. Um, stick it in the chassis rail and you want to basically run that until you see the water coming through. Light close over here. Really run that through for quite a few minutes if you can. And you can also spray the um, Agent Orange inside that as well. Um, just for a, you know, a couple of minutes before you rinse this out. So the same applies for the engine bay. Um, you can use the orange agent. Um, they do say um, not to let it sit more than 30 seconds um, within the engine bay. So you want to move in sort of smaller sections um, and obviously you know, avoid any sort of electrical areas if, if you can. Um, so, and, and always use low pressure if you're going to be cleaning anywhere in your engine bay. So, uh, you know, I'll just give it a little spray down here. Um, you can use it as a jet um, spray and just a lighter spray. So I'll just use the lighter spray for the engine here. As you can see, low pressure, it's only a light clean, but again, that's just gonna remove any of that build up that you've got in your engine bay. Once you've done that, um, just give that a bit of a dry down with a microfiber towel. 
So now we've got a nice clean engine bay. Um, we're just gonna have a quick look at the air filter. Um, I always recommend um, doing that after a trip um, in case it's accumulated any dirt or dust. So uh, we're just gonna do that now. Just gonna pop the clips on the side. Lift the back up. And the air filter just slides out. Lightly tap it on the ground. I mean, there's very little coming out of this. Um, it's in uh, very good condition, but um, obviously if you do notice it is um, you know, getting getting a bit dirty and it'll be getting a bit uh, sort of thick with grit, then you may want to consider replacing that. Now, whilst I've got the bash plates on as well, I can get a good look at under the car, in particular the radiators, and to see if there's any built up dirt in there. Uh, if there is, and obviously we can um, have a look if we need to clean that out. Now the radiator actually looks quite clean. Um, if, if you find there is heavy build up in there, then you may need to look at even dropping the radiator and have it um, you know, professionally cleaned. Or if you're uh, mechanically capable, it's something you could do yourself. Um, uh, I have found for sort of light, um, uh, you know, uh, dirt that's on the radiator. There is a product um, called Aircon Cleaner, um, which uh, you can spray on and uh, hose off just like we've done with the orange agent. So this is the product here. It's the Aircon Cleaner by Simple Green. Uh, you simply spray it onto your radiator, let it sit for a few minutes and hose it off. And now, although my radiator is clean today, uh, I will uh, use the product to uh, show you how that's applied. So I'm just using a soft, um, a soft spray for cleaning the radiators. You don't want to use anything that's too powerful, um, as you can actually um, damage the blaze. So, a uh, soft spray for doing this. See it foams up quite a bit. And you really want to keep um, the spray going until it, um, the foam sort of stops. And that's done. Uh, it's a little bit later in the day now um, all the uh, water has dried from the earlier clean um, I like to use uh, inox which is a, a lanolin based uh, spray to protect the car uh, from any sort of rust uh, and further corrosion in the future um, simply um, sprayed on under the car and um, and, and you go, go from there so it's really easy to use I'll do a quick demonstration now uh, you just simply spray on the surfaces under your vehicle and you see it gives it a really nice um, shine as well um, but that will obviously dry and protect the underside of your vehicle so um, you know spray it on obviously uh, all your supports um, the chassis etc um, uh, and it, yeah, it's safe to pretty much spray on all surfaces um, keep it away from things like brake pads um, those sort of things, but um, yeah, it's, it's a really good product and, and um, you know, this car's been through, um, you know, sand, mud uh, on the beach, etc. And, um, you know, it, it's still looking really good um, uh, and, and I do this quite regularly after my uh, off-road trips. That should give it some uh, protection now um, for the next uh, off-road adventure. Um, hope you found today's video um, helpful and please uh, give it a like uh, and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks, bye. How do you clean your car after being off-road? Let us know in the comments below.